Hey guys, here we are in video three of lesson 18, module three, of course. And as you can see, we have number four from your book on the screen. It says four times as much as the difference of six sevenths and one half. Hmm. So, you know, we got to do some interpreting here, right? We just need to understand what these words mean. So four times as much as the difference of these two. All right. So notice the word times and notice the word difference. So four times as much as the difference of six sevenths and one half. Can we multiply yet? No, we have to find the difference first. Once we find the difference, then we can multiply. So let's write and evaluate an expression that represents our thinking about this statement. So first, let's write our expression. X, or our equation, is equal to four times as much as the difference of six sevenths and one half. Does it matter which order we write the six sevenths and the one half? Well, yes, it definitely does since we're subtracting, right? We definitely need to have the number we're subtracting from first, six sevenths and one half, okay? Now, when we're subtracting, we have to have the same denominators and we see a seven and a two. So we're gonna multiply this one by two over two and we're gonna multiply this one by seven over seven. And then, like I said, it's really good habit to rewrite it below. And it doesn't take very long and you can really see what you're doing. It's very easy to see if you make a mistake. Six times two is 12, seven times two is 14, one times seven and two times seven, right? And that's still in parentheses and we're multiplying it by four. Okay, so 12 minus 7 is 5 fourteenths times 4. And I like to write it as a whole number so we don't get confused. And 5 times 4 is 20. And 1 times 14 is 14. We have a small problem here in that our fraction is improper because the number on top is larger. So we're going to divide. 20 by 14, 20 14 is a division problem, right? So it goes in one time, one times 14 is 14. Subtract, make sure you're subtracting correctly. 10 minus four is six. So that gives us one and six fourteenths. All right, and now we're noticing that these are both, um, that is a fine answer but we're noticing that these are both um, even numbers. So we could take it down even further by dividing both of these by two. That would be three sevenths. Just a little bit smaller numbers makes it an easier fraction to understand, right? Okay, four times as much as the difference of six sevenths and one half. Just double checking that we did it correctly. Excellent job. Okay, make sure you have that all written down in your book because we're going to go to our next one. And next, whoops, sorry, forgot to erase it. There we go. Let's clear that screen. Okay, very good. Now we see that we have two different statements. And we're going to compare these two different statements. This is not in your book, but find a page where there's some blank space where you can uh, record, add two to the product, one fourth times 16, or one fourth times 12 plus two. All right, so we need to think about whether the value represented by this statement is greater than, equal to, or less than the value of the expression. All right, so this is our statement, this is words, this is our expression. So are they, is this one greater than, or is this one less than, or are they equal 
without evaluating. So we're going to try without doing the math. So no math, right? Just thinking about it. Add 2 to the product of 1 fourth and 16. Or adding 2 to the product of 1 fourth and 12. All right. So this is similar, right? We're still adding 2 to both of them. So let's look at our products here, 1 fourth of 16 or 1 fourth of 12. Hmm, since this number's bigger and we're taking 1 fourth of a bigger number than 1 fourth of the bigger number would be bigger, right? Okay. So think about 1 fourth of 16, that would actually be 4. 4 plus 2 is actually 6. 1 fourth of 12 would be 3. 3 plus 2 is only 5, right? I know, we're not supposed to do the math. Some people would be doing that in their heads automatically. So I just wanted to write it down. But basically, we're thinking that 1 fourth, they're both 1 fourth, one fourth of a larger number is going to be larger. Okay, we're going to do one more of those. Let's clear this off. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to compare these two. The difference of eight ninths and one third doubled compared to two times eight ninths minus two thirds. Hmm. The difference of 8 ninths and 1 third. 1 third. This is the difference of 8 ninths and 2 thirds. So here we're taking away 2 thirds. Here we're only taking away 1 third. Doubled times 2. That's the same, right? So we can ignore those two just like we can ignore our plus 2 on the last one. So this is 8 ninths minus 1 third. And this is 8 ninths minus 2 thirds. If we're taking away less, then that one's going to be larger. Do you agree? Mm hmm. Because here we're taking away more. All right. So we're working on just, you know, understanding what the expressions are saying. Thank you for your hard work. I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.